Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night, in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters, scattered throughout the world, to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. The Blessing of the Fire O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by these paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendour through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory for ever and ever, through every age. Amen. By his holy and most glorious wounds, may the Christ the Lord guard and protect us. Amen. May the light of Christ, rising in glory, dispel the darkness of our hearts and our minds. Lord, 
Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels, exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant Rejoice, O Mother Church, exalting glory, the risen Savior shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. The Lord be with you, and with It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with His blood and paid for us
Dear friends, now that we have begun our song vigil, let us listen to the quiet of our hearts, to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God, in times past, saved His people, and in these days, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said, your only child Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will point out to you. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he stretched out his hand and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, he said. I am here. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know that you fear God. You have not refused me your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks. Because you have done this, because you have not refused me your son, your only son, I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. O Lord, it is you 
are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Let us pray. O God, Supreme Father of the faithful, who increased the children of your promise by pouring out the grace of adoption throughout the whole world, and who through the Paschal mystery make your servant Abraham father of nations, as one who swore, grant me pray, that your peoples may enter worthily into the grace to which you call them, through Christ our Lord. reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it. For the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. The angel of the Lord who marched in front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to their rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night, and he made dry land of the sea. The waters parted to the right and to the left of them. The Egyptians gave chase, and after them their chariots and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and, and of the cloud, and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot's wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us flee from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may fall back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as day broke, the sea returned to its bed. 
The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel marched on through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to the right and to the left of them. That day the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed this great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians. And the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honour of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, glorious is This is my God, and I will extol him, my Father's God, and I will give him praise. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army he drowned in the sea. The deeps hide them, they sank like a stone. Your right hand, Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. You will lead your people and plant them on the mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. I will sing to the Lord, glorious is O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of the wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font and the nations delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people, grant we pray that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. O come to the water, all you who are thirsty, Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend your money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me. You will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me. Listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. 
So I have made you a witness to the peoples, a leader and master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call on him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him, to our God who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are high above the earth, as my ways are high above your ways, my thoughts high above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower, and bread for the eating. So the word that goes forth from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The Word of the Lord With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name, make his mighty deeds known to the peoples, declare the greatness of his name. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known in all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, so hope for the world, who by the preaching of the prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. 